old Papa John. We want to make a little bit of uh, pan pizza there. We got the forgotto mozzarella, all nice and soft. Whole milk, of course. A red onion and a and uh, some pepperoni. I'm working off the food on the last month, okay? And now we ain't gonna do no politicking right now. I'm gonna tell you another war story. But this is more like a, a princess, savior, and like beautiful thing story. Because, okay, this is how it was. So me and my little pygmy cavalry was down in South Africa. And we was down in South Africa because they had kidnapped the little, little baby of the queen, the little princess, and they called her P, not Peanut, just P, because she was small, because they pygmy people. But anyway, so, you know, they grabbed a big magnifying glass, and, you know, it's big, like take six or seven of them, one or two of you and me, but like six, seven, or eight, twelve, to be like holding this big old magnifying glass, and they were looking all over the palace for her, and they couldn't find her nowhere, and they're like, Lord, Lord, she been kidnapped. She been kidnapped. We gotta call Papa John and his pygmy commandos. And then, then they called me up, right? So, you know, I done showed up and I been all ready to go. Ready to do some battling. Up there, look at Papa. Saying, okay now, all right, man. And the king said, my daughter, my daughter, get my daughter. And I, I know when the king says something that you be like, damn, you know what I mean? So yeah, be like, we head out to get the daughter, right? So we had to go to the fortress. The place had a big wall on it and a big wooden door. And it was crazy, man. And then we we, we, we were getting there. And see, this is what we did. We snuck up in the brush, okay? And I had all, oh, these are pygmy cavalry. And they ride the ostrich, right? But I'm the big guy, so I gotta ride the elephant. The elephants and you know. And we get down, we get down, we get in crouch at night. But we got this special trip, all right? And then we get all oh, the, the ostriches start running, and they got a pygmy on each side, and they got that like a coconut thing on the head. Dangerous, very dangerous. And they like riding on the side, and they're like, wow, you wow, wow, wow. And then they say this secret word, and this girl said this thing to the elephant behind me, too. And all of a sudden, them birds were like doing 40. And then they said, Chicken! And they were like some big ass road runners with these little coconuts bouncing on the side. And these happy ass people me going up like, Yeah! Because they were going to war. Yeah! There's always happy, fine people. And I was on this elephant. Ooh! And, the, and the rabbit, and then the, the ostrich feet, and they look like a road runner. And the elephant started going so fast. He was like, he was sliding. He was like, Shaw! Shaw! Shaw, and then they said, Piabu! and I done tell you, the ostriches and elephants can jump, can jump high, and all the ostriches went over the wall, like that, and my other elephant, I'm like, slide, slide, not grab him, and he said, whoop, whoop. And he got up, and he did a 360, and he come down, and he grind on the side of that wall, and then he boom it with his butt, and just knocked the wall right down. And they land in there, and then they had to go get the big magnifying glass, and that's how we saved the princess. It's a beautiful story. Yeah. Them pygmy people, it's some fine people. Y'all think I make this stuff up. You can't make up no story like that. That stuff happened for real. Okay, I didn't heat this up. We just gonna make a little New York thing with a lots of olive, olive oil on it. It's gonna kind of be a fried crust. Yeah, the old bazaar. Y'all remember my first story about the bazaar with Maria and all that? Oh yeah, she was something else. She a fine woman, fine woman. I mean, I ain't trying to be like you know tell a story and not tell a story, but dang. Bing lang lang, you know. But I, you know, I'm the proper brother, so I gotta be proper to the ladies and all that. But oh, you know, but we all know. I seen some things in my day, you know. Them little pygmy people, man. They finally found her. She was on the cushion, on a nice lace cushion, with a little bitty thimble next to her. Very small one. Yeah, a pygmy thimble. So I couldn't see it none at all. And they done, they had all this, the scientists in there, the pygmy scientists, 
with the big eye things and the big man. Yeah, and then, then they've done found her. And they were like, joy to the kingdom. And it was like pygmies dancing. And pygmies can dance up trees. Did you know that? They just uh, they just start dancing. They dance so fast. And then they're going to just run up the tree. And then, then they, they take their coconut heads off. And they do this thing where they, they like they bounce against each other with them ropes attached. Like It's sort of like a bungee. But it's not like a bungee. Because they like hanging on the trees. And then they use that. But the frill, you know, the super bow. Remember the space story when they was flying around. And bow, bing. Yeah, they was having a good old time. So they get on these ropes and they just start running on each other. But bing, 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 bing. And they be laughing. They be laughing. Yeah. They did that to a couple of Cape Buffalo. Them Cape Buffalo weren't laughing though. You little pygmy done running all over the place. Ah, did the Buffalo? You done see my cat done running like, yeah, ow. <laughs> it was scary. <laughs> It was scary. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't never, no, 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 don't never take no cake buffalo and put him up on no swing by his horns and give him a good push and laugh when he go up in the air because he coming down, he coming down mad. He was like, who did that? And this is the problem. When he was out playing with me, the pit piece is little. And uh, the Cape Buffalo look around. It take like 47 pygmies to push him up the hill, right? And I'm like, oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> and they done pushed him. And that Cape Buffalo come down. And he look around. And Cape Buffalo, big old thing, right? A big old thing. I just kind of a medium guy. You know, I, you know, I do a little fine, you know. But the Cape Buffalo, you know, Big <laughs> and the pygmy people is small. And they hide in quickly. So I learned how to run really, really quick that day. I had to like do a like a um a a a, a, a long john silver or um a high hole silver or a, a tonto and silver. But the old long. Ronger or did that dude, you know? Hi ho, jump on that old dude. And then I knew the secret word to make that thing go real fast. But you don't ever want to do that. Because what you have there is an elephant internal explosion, sort of like akin to like a a, a butt blaster off a of tremors. But you gotta see the movie to understand what I'm talking about there, you know. I mean and, and to imagine a big old Elephant doing it. I mean, I'll tell you another story one day when we use that for warfare. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm finished making this picture here. Yeah? And, um, stop all my yabbering. Get this here in the oven. Mm hmm. So, me and Rabbit's gonna be talking about all sorts of things. He's been a reading on the politicking and a reading up on the social entropy. And he's an understanding little rabbit. And he started telling me things about. Back in, I'm like, how old are you, rabbit? He said, 122. I said, what? He said, I'm 122 years old. What's wrong with that? I'm like, well, Lord, rabbit, you look good. You know, <laughs> I was just trying to represent and tell the brother, you know. Well, anyways, you know, we're we, we going to tell some stories. Yes, we is. We're going to get some red onion on there like that. Where's that cheese on there? I think I'll put a little more cheese on there like that. And I, I got some more cheese around here. Put a little of this on there. Like that. Yeah. That's what's up. And then we're gonna finish it. Just a little granny like that. Just don't say, what the heck is it? What the heck is it? And don't go ahead and throw that in the oven. Yeah. Oh Lord, and I left my hot pot in there. Got my hot pot in there. Yeah. Howard Stern. Howard Stern done talk to the old grump. Yeah, Howard Stern used to be in Washington, D.C., but they kicked him out because he was too wild. He used to have these stories. Yeah. Mm hmm. Then the grease man come on. He said, We're going to do some hot. There's some real hot crotch pot cooking. I ain't never know what that means until I did some crotch pot cooking. 
Man, I like that. I had to go get some shots from the doctor. All right. This shot's gone, yo, Papa John. Giving you all love. Telling you a little how it is. Peace.